welcome to Flash in a Pan. Today I'm making you the most amazing dish. Look at that. It's kofta curry. Lovely and scrumptious, quick to make, really easy, proper dinner for your family. So join me to make it together. Assalamualaikum everybody and welcome to Flash in a Pan. Today I'm peeling potatoes because I'm going to make you some kofta curry, Middle Eastern kofta curry. So it'll be lovely and tasty. So to start with, peel your potatoes because we're going to need them. Oh this is really nice and sharp, I didn't expect it to be honest. Just to quickly chop them like that. Just medium sized, cutting it in three pieces, one and a half, like that, in the middle of it. Just chop, 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 real quick. Just don't want anyone waiting too long. Let's get rid of the mess, get rid of that knife. Put the dirt over there, and the recycling, because we want to be good to the environment. And now we're going to put the hob on. I'm going to be using this lovely pan and put some oil in it because I'm going to fry the potatoes. Okay, so we just put them there real quick. And I'm going to put some salt and a bit of spices. So here we are, a little bit of this, um, uh, what do you call it, garlic powder. Just half a teaspoon maybe, something like that. Some coriander powder, teaspoon. And curry powder, another half a teaspoon. This is not much there, we have not many potatoes. And I'm going to be putting a bit of cumin. And a little bit of lovely yellow turmeric to give it some colour. You don't want to put too much. So look how I'm putting. Look how little I'm putting. Da -da. And drop. So put everything back. Quickly take the spoon and mix it. And of course, we should not forget the salt. It's kind of the most important thing. Like, no matter how many spices you're going to put in, but when you forget the salt, just the flavors won't come out. Just mix it really quick. Get that salt from here and put not too much, but this is like table salt. So we have to add a bit more. Okay, leave it to fry a bit by itself. So I'm going to put it on a low heat because I want it to cook from the inside as well while it's browning. And next I'm going to eat it here. I'm going to take the onions. Actually, I'm going to start making the kofta while that potatoes, while the potatoes are, are being done. So. I will need to use the blender because I hate chopping onions. They're not the most pleasant things to chop. Probably it is. Okay, so here we are with the onions to blend them. Just make some space here because we're gonna bring the stuff. Let's clear up the mess. This is not nice. There we go. Get this onion. It shouldn't be a big onion, it should be like a small one because we're gonna add this to the meat. So we don't want it to be too much. Add some garlic to it because it gives extra flavor. And it's nice, it smells nice when you're cooking. As long as it's not too much, then your neighbors will hate you for it. 
There we go. So add it there with the onion and blend. Blend it quite a bit because we want it, you don't want it to be to ruin the shape of the kofta when you're making it. Well, it's basically meatballs. I think that's it. Let me mix those potatoes a bit before they burn. Maybe increase the heat a tiny bit just so it's medium heat. Uh, it started to smell really nice actually. There we go. They will cook anyway. It doesn't have to like cook fully now because we're going to put in the sauce, to put them in the tomato sauce later. So they will actually cook in the tomato sauce together with the meat. I'm going to get a bowl. Chuck parsley or coriander. It doesn't really matter. Coriander is a bit more flavoursome in, um, in cooking. So I'm just going to add it here. Just chop it a little bit to make it easier for the blender to do its job. I'm going to add it here. Da da. And there. Blend it together. Okay. Nice. Okay. Lovely. Okay. So here we are. You see, I didn't even cry a single bit. Can you see my eyes? Not crying. Oh my god, I'm starting to feel it now. Jinx myself. Let's quickly add the meat before I start to tear. There. And the meat is in my hiding place. There it is. Woo. Minced meat. Nothing exciting about minced meat, but it will be exciting soon when you add the spices and everything else together with it. So, add it here. So this is like a quarter of a kilogram. Oh, sugar, my eyes did start to cry now. That's not good. I'm not crying, I'm actually happy making this. No one is forcing me to do this. So I'm just gonna add some garlic powder. some curry powder usually I put tikka masala because it actually makes it really nice I don't know why but it makes a difference when you add just a tiny bit of tikka masala and paprika It just gives it that smoky um, smell somehow, flavour. So not too much again. And of course the cumin. A bit of coriander powder. That smells so good. There we go. And last, I'm going to add, I don't want to cut myself with that. This, a bit of turmeric. Here we go, adding everything together, putting things nice and neat back again and I'm going to mix it with my hand and of course the salt, quite a bit of salt so no one can complain later. So, mix it well. Okay, so we finished mixing, I think. Now we're gonna be making the meatballs. But first, let's have a look at our potatoes before they burn. My hands are dirty. Give me a second. Mix the potatoes again. Ooh, look at them. They look so nice and brown. Look at that. Can you see that? Lovely. There we go. Looking good. Okay, here we are. So, let's get a plate to put the kofta inside and we can go and fry them in the frying pan. Okay, push it here, put this out of the way, and here we are. Just make quick, small, tiny meatballs. They don't have to be big because we want them to cook quickly. If they are too big, 
they'll take longer to cook from the inside, which is going to make for two. So how many would one person eat? So here we are. Take those lovely potatoes here, nice and yellow. Mmm, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Put the frying pan. Maybe let's put it here because I'm going to be frying the onions there and I want to fry my the meatballs. So I'm going to take another frying pan and put it there. Turn that on and put some oil. Nice non-stick pan because you don't want the meatballs to break. I'm going to stick them in to fry. We just have to, you know, watch them every every couple of minutes whatever you want it to look good as well as taste good so they taste good but they're just such hassle to chop and here we go again my eyes there we go i'm sure there's a quick way of doing it oh that's what i'm gonna do next time i'm gonna get one of those face masks and just cover my face with it so I don't have to smell anything. So this is going to be quick because I'm just going to keep it, you chop it in half like that and so we don't have to be tortured. There we go. And back into the recycling. Like that. Into the frying pan. And of course, for that, we need some oil, which I almost forgot. Mix it up a bit. And just keep turning that. Let's add to the salt. Where is the salt? There is the salt. Just sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. And that's it. Meanwhile, while this is cooking, what we're going to do is not waste time in the kitchen because we have other things to do. So I've got chopped tomatoes, okay? And I'm going to blend them together with some garlic and some spices. More garlic. Yeah, the more the merrier. Just big pieces like that and just chuck that in. Add the spices, some garlic powder as well. I love garlic. Some of that cumin. Basically similar spices to what we added onto the, to the potatoes. Some coriander, uh, not coriander, what's that? Curry powder. So here we are, another teaspoon. What did we add? We added the curry powder, we added the, cor no, we added the cumin and the garlic. We're gonna be adding the coriander powder as well. A little bit more. So just a teaspoon. And not to forget a little bit of that turmeric. Okay. I know some people like to have, you know, their food spicy, but I don't know, depends. Some children, they won't even touch the food if it's spicy. So I'm gonna keep this Mediterranean or, well, Middle Eastern. We don't use much spices in the food, as in like, we don't use much hot chilies or hot spices in the food. So I'm just gonna blend this together. And we're going to blend this, tomatoes, that's what we were supposed to do. We got before we got distracted by the onions. So here we are. Give it a quick blend. Nice and lovely. So what I'm going to do after blending them is before adding them to the meatballs, I'm going to add a little bit of tomato tomato paste. So here we are. Let's get a spoon, and I'm going to fry this tomato paste together with the kofta. So put something like a tablespoon of tomato paste and mix it well and fry it because 
when you fry it, uh, it takes less time for it, you would need less time for it to actually cook or boil on the hob. So you basically, you're, you know, it's a cheat. So we'll just fry it quickly here. We want to see it like sizzle and start to splash. Fried properly. Maybe add a little bit of salt to it. Just a tiny bit. There we are. And soon we're going to be adding that tomato sauce and everything else together to let it boil together. Making our kofta or kofta curry. So here we are. That's our tomato sauce. I'm going to add the onions to it. All of it, nice and done. And not to forget our potatoes. There they are. Just add it together. Give it a very gentle mix because you don't want the meatballs to break either. Don't want to break them, we want to keep them nice and round. Okay, so here we are. Let me show you how that looks without dropping it on the floor, messing up the dinner for, for the cameraman tonight. There we go. So we'll leave it there. And yeah, we said low to medium heat. What I'm going to do, I'm going to add just a tiny bit of pepper. That's not the green pepper that I wanted. This is the green pepper that I wanted. So just a little bit of it, not much, just a flavor. So you see how I'm chopping them? I'm keeping them big pieces, like long pieces, but very, very thin. They're, they'll be nice and soft to eat but they give nice color in the dish. So here we are, I'm just gonna fry them really quickly. Put them in, put the hob on. Oh, it's still on. I'm gonna put it on really high heat because I just want them to, you know, like how you do in stir fry, you want them to cook, but without completely killing it, basically. There we are. And our sauce is looking great. So a quick fry for those lovely, lovely green peppers will make a difference to the sauce. Give it lovely flavor. And then just at the end, I think that's more than enough. I'm just gonna put it right, I'm gonna show you here. Put it right into the curry. There we go. Very gently mixing it together. Not to mess it up. And of course, can't forget the coriander. This makes it nicer. A little bit of coriander to add a little bit of colour and flavour to the dish, like that. And it makes it somehow more fancy, I don't know why. Just at the end. I'm getting hungry just smelling it, I don't know about the rest. So I'm going to turn this off and going to bring it straight. I mean, look at that. It's way to anyone's heart. And what is it? It's full dinner for less than 20 minutes. How long did it take us? Not long at all, like 15 minutes, something like that. And it's not pasta bolognese, it's not burgers in the oven, it's not fish and chips, it's proper kofta curry. There we go. Enjoy and I'll see you next time.